Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another episode regarding the uh, Xiaomi M365 uh, e-scooter. Today I'm going to talk about firmware, firmware upgrade and uh, what application to use on the scooter and why is that. So there is an official Xiaomi statement that uh, uh, the application uh, you need to use with this scooter is the Mi Home application. All those uh, nine bot application that exist on the market works perfectly on it. All the settings work on this e-scooter. Uh, they do not recommend you to flash the firmware with that application and uh, they will void the warranty. So although it may be the same products, the same application developed by the same guys, uh, something uh, is there different and uh, Xiaomi doesn't want you to flash your firmware with that application so there are also a few generations of uh, scooters there is the one uh, uh, three one version uh, of firmware which haven't uh, been upgraded until now and there is a new uh, version that is on sale it has uh, 1.3.3 version and uh, that one already got an upgrade to 134 version but the older version did not got a firmware update until now so today i'm going to try to update the firmware to see how that goes and maybe we can find what uh, it brings to this e-scooter so i'm going to power it on i have my bluetooth turned on i'm going to open the mi home app and i'm going to connect to the scooter now and i'm now connected and you can see there is a message now, a new version of firmware is uh, detected upgrade, so I'm going to select OK. Now the vehicle will be locked automatically before upgrade. OK. And it's upgrading the control board firmware. So you can see uh, this uh, firmware does a lot more things. Uh, there was a rumor that uh, uh, new versions, the uh, 1.3.4 version was upgrading just the Bluetooth model. And that was happening uh, if you were uh, forcing the update through the 9bot application. So I'm not using the 9bot application, I'm using the uh, Mi Home application, so it seems that they pushed the official upgrade after all and I'm happy with that so we get some flashing lights there now it's upgrading the Bluetooth module firmware I hope it uh, wouldn't uh, start uh, this uh, scooter now in this position and uh, run through my house Hopefully not. Upgrading the battery management module firmware. So you can see this is a rather comprehensive uh, firmware it updates various stuff in uh, the scooter my only hope is that uh, it still uh, saves the current mileage and uh, battery cycles and so on and the firmware has been upgraded successfully the vehicle will be power off automatically since the battery module is upgraded please connect to the vehicle after powering on manually all right so it has turned off and now I'm going to turn it on. And it's back on. And I'm going to connect to it. And I'm now connected. The vehicle has been locked. Slide right word to unlock it. Alright, so I have unlocked it, so we get some new stuff into the application, let's see if 
there are other changes tail light always on so you can now control this tail light energy recovery strength you have the three levels that were previously there change vehicle path password upgrade firmware basic info serial number firmware version better info they still have capacity I still have cycle period and charging times so that is fine let's see battery cell voltage is still registering normal so we get that also speed and mileage yes that's memorized unit settings metric system and cruise control is on so that's it no more other different settings so until now I only have this daylight always on if I want to turn it on but I don't want to turn it on and I still have 60 uh, 76 percent capacity and uh, that's about it so uh, I will have to uh, write it again to see if there is any change in uh, its com uh, in uh, in the way it works uh, I didn't have any kind of issues with it before uh, I wonder if uh, this uh, upgrade will uh, bring something new in its uh, behavior so I'm going to do a follow-up uh, shortly to see how this uh, works until then bye bye